University of Nairobi to study law. Growing up mainly in the village in Siaya, a place called Mbira, uh, you interact a lot with the environment and you come to the university and you find that there is this branch of law that basically deals with natural resources and the things around you. And so I took particular interest in that and uh, admiring some of the luminaries uh, and pioneers in the field of environmental law around that time, uh, some who are still my mentors to date. Uh, within a year, I was uh, elected the University of Nairobi Law Journal Editor-in-Chief. That also put me right in the limelight of scholarship in environmental law. As Editor-in-Chief, we published a special issue on environmental law and that paved my path into that field of law. I then went again for further studies uh, to study masters at the University of Nairobi. And in the midst of all that, uh, also practicing law at my law firm of Chengucheng Advocates. And this is interesting. My law firm partner is actually uh, an alumni nurse of Maranda High School too. My first choice uh, for the university actually was uh, pharmacy. Uh, yeah, actually applied to be, that was my first choice and then law was the second one. So because I did not uh, do well in one of the sciences, I failed to get pharmacy and uh, I was called to do law uh, at the University of Nairobi. The profession actually is uh, very demanding. Uh, you must be committed. Uh, it requires a lot of uh, reading, uh, understanding, also commitment in terms of uh, you know, work deadlines and so on and so forth, particularly if you are running your own law firm. Currently, I'm specializing in climate finance law. And uh, at least I've tried to make a mark in that field. Perhaps you've seen a few occasions when the media has sought my, my expert opinion on a number of things happening around. We produce a report that helped to restructure uh, the whole uh, agenda of managing wildlife in Kenya. So I enjoy these kind of challenges and I enjoy just making the link between what I studied uh, at school and, and what is really affecting livelihoods on a practical basis. The friendships made probably in primary but mostly in high school count the most when you get out here. In our year, we had four people who were called to study law at the University of Nairobi. And uh, even to date, we still maintain those contacts. We have our own chama, if you like, uh, where we can always call upon one another when you are in need, whether financial, or whether you just want to consult on issues of law. In Miranda, uh... Actually, uh, when I joined in Form 1, I think I was, uh, I was taken to uh, Gore, where they used to have the, the, the abolition, I mean the Gore Bonyo block. Uh, yeah, so I was, I was, uh, I was uh, located at Gore. Uh, I stayed there uh, until I think uh, in Form 3 when I became uh, a librarian. Uh, and then I, I went then to the, I think I went to the Osewe cubicle. Uh, remember prefects then used to be staying in the cubicle, I mean in the cubicles next to the dorm. We are trying to, to raise resources and to strengthen the alumni association. So uh, life there was basically interesting and challenging. Uh, because then, as, as we never used to have water in school, so at around 3 p.m. we used to be allowed to go down at the pond there to go and uh, wash our clothes and then come back with some little water for use uh, locally and so on and so forth. Uh, so it was challenging but interesting in a way because it then uh, brought in you uh, the requirement for working hard you know, and being responsible. Uh, as a young person. Why is it that people are pursuing knowledge and people want money 
but people can't do things with integrity. Uh, people are so quick to try to cheat even as they pursue uh, success in life. And the whole theme of Miranda Moto, the whole theme of what we are trying to do is to go back to the basics. Let people understand that it is possible to do it and the right way to do it is with integrity. Uh, that service of clans also requires that you are somebody who is honest uh, and trustworthy. Uh, because as a lawyer then you get to know a lot of uh, very uh, privileged information about your client. Sometimes you even entrusted to hold funds for your client. And so uh, therein lies uh, the requirement that you must then be a person who is uh, uh, very trustworthy and committed and dedicated to your profession. It's interesting also that we are talking about this awards giving day. Um, I remember I, I had the privilege when we were finishing Form 4 to win four awards. Uh, which out of six <laughs> that were available that time. If my recollection is right, I think I was awarded for the best academician, they call it. I was awarded for the most disciplined student. I was awarded for best school captain. Just work hard, focus on your academics, make sure that you pass your exams as much as you can. The rest actually will just fall in their place. Uh, Miranda has now become a big uh, brand name in the country. Uh, and I congratulate uh, students who have been there and those who are still there uh, for making it a brand name. Uh, please continue.